Hey everyone, it's Everything Eve here. Sorry I haven't been really active on YouTube lately because I've been busy because my laptop got taken away and there was a family emergency that came up. But now I'm finally going to be uploading. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at a Win 10 to 7 ISO. So this is Windows 10, but it even looks like Windows 7. And so I'm going to be taking a look at that uh, today. So let's just open view more quickly. This ISO was made by uh, Microsoft, is what he call, calls himself. His name is Ojaz or Ojaz. I don't know how to pronounce his name. And uh, he's the CEO of the Rectifiers, the guys who made Rectify 11. And Rectify 11 was actually pretty darn good. So I have no doubt that this ISO will also be pretty darn good. Uh, let's just make it right now. And this is what the ISO looks like. So it even disguises itself as a Windows 7. Uh, Enterprise Edition, but it detects as Windows 8.1, but as we're going to see, it's actually Windows 10. Actually, I'm going to make a custom just so we don't use Easy Install, just so I can go through the install. So after what felt like forever, the virtual machine is finally booting up and you can hear my computer's fan kind of going up now as well. And you can see that it is loading in for the first time setup. So there's no Windows logo because of course this is supposed to look like Windows 7, not Windows 10. So uh, I guess that's why the logo was removed from the installer. And we get our first look at the as the setup uh, experience. And this looks basically identical to Windows 7. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it is actually Windows 7. So let me just check that here. Uh, Shift F10, I think. Yeah, see, you can kind of tell that it says version 6.2, and I'm pretty sure 6.2 uh, was actually Windows 8, not Windows 7. And it says build 8176, so that's definitely a Windows 8 build, actually. So, And yeah, as you can see, basically identical to the Windows 7 uh, installer, which is pretty neat, I guess, because that does add on to the feeling that it is uh, Windows 7, not Windows 10. And if you guys want to see me install this on some actual real hardware, like for example, my own computer, um, just let me know in the comments and then I'll probably do that as a future video idea. All right, so you still have to agree to the Windows operating system, the Microsoft license terms, and we're just gonna install it on the disk real quick. So now we're just gonna wait for it to set up and I'll see you when it reboots. All right, so the installation finished up a little while ago mean that it's now rebooting back into Windows 10 to 7 but this time it's actually installed so now we're gonna see what exactly it's gonna look like on the desktop I'm actually pretty excited because this is my first time looking at this and I was pretty happy with Rectify 11 because it looked pretty cool so it's gonna be pretty awesome to see what comes up here after it's done initializing oh and it looks like it says setup is preparing your computer for first-time use instead of the getting devices ready that's on Windows 10 so this is a bit different okay so it rebooted and now it's gonna be booting into the uh, actual OS itself so let's see what it looks like I don't know if that's actually supposed to happen but that is a bit weird it just says user welcome oh there we go so this looks like very close to the uh, actual Windows 7 setup so that's pretty cool so we're just gonna choose a username it even has the Windows 7 sounds just like as I heard. Okay, so we're just gonna click uh, this settings and um, where's the clock? Ah, oh, weird. And so we got it here and it's Windows 7 Enterprise apparently even though VMware is recognizing it as Windows 8.1 and it's truly Windows 10. Wait, what is going on? This is kind of weird. It says Windows will shut down in less than a minute. All right, so it actually ended up rebooting after that thing and now apparently it's let me into the desktop so pretty cool first we need to set this to a workable resolution so we're at the desktop and this looks strikingly convincing like it, at a first glance you know I'd usually check over here to see what it looked like but um, yeah it looks like really really convincing like this looks pretty darn close to the OG Windows 7 and here's the start menu and as you can see the start menu also super convincing like if you hover over it the Thing changes which is a pretty nice detail that was added here and uh, all programs you can see all the programs that you have on the computer and there's none of the garbage that usually comes included with Windows 10 so I want to check if this is actually Windows 10 or not so I'm just gonna run Winver alright so it says it actually manages to convince 
the even the winver that it is um, Windows 7 but it is in fact Windows 10 so I'm gonna find a program that's gonna let us determine that and for some reason it just did that I don't know why I did okay so it reverted us back to 1024 by 768 so we're just gonna open the file explorer see what that looks like and wow this looks surprisingly similar like if you wanted the Windows 7 experience this would be the way to get it because not only do you get the support of Windows 10 but you also get the aesthetics of Windows 7 just look how look how awesome it looks I don't even have any drivers installed and it's running error which is something that the OG Windows 7 cannot do so yeah I'm gonna get some drivers installed and we'll come back okay so now we're back with installed drivers and I'm gonna first point out that one of the things I noticed was that the logon UI doesn't even work correctly so if we lock the computer it's pretty obvious it says press control delete to unlock it just brings up a blank thing so I'll click control delete and it actually control deletes on my computer and VMware is giving me that warning enter oh and enters great so there's no logon sound either so um, yeah so if I let me just show you guys that again just lock uh, control alt, insert just so my computer doesn't freak out and there we go but otherwise yeah this looks really real if we can check like personalize real quickly to see the themes if they're there and yeah you can see that there's Windows default themes and then install themes which shows all the installed uh, themes over here and you can change it based on whichever one you want so let's try architecture and for some reason it doesn't play the sound but probably because that's probably too deep into the Windows uh, Windows 10 kernel to actually play the sound but yeah you can see that it does actually work pretty well and it does actually look really legit like if we go to Windows update for example you can see that Windows update looks exactly the same but uh, you can't even get updates okay so uh, maybe it's not as good this is OBS studio 27.2.4 uh, which is uh, Windows 8.1 and up only program so I mean if this is Windows 8.1 then it'll obviously work but um, this should be proof that it is Windows 10 and, um, and I forgot how uh, else to get the proof but this is what I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna run OBS studio and the OBS studio actually launches inside of the VM and if we just install it real quick and after what felt like forever the thing has finally finished installing and if we launch it we can actually launch it and it won't error out so uh, yeah that should be definite proof that this is technically Windows 10 I'm pretty sure it's um, the build is actually 1903 so uh, yeah all right, so now I decided that the perfect way to actually um, compare these two was to murder my computer and compare them side by side to each other while they're both running. So I, I don't know how this is going to go. I'm pretty sure I barely have any memory left, so there's going to be a lot of swapping and my encoder's already overloaded, so that's great. Okay, so after murdering my computer to get here, I keep on making that joke, but it's true. My computer's literally screaming at me right now. You can see you got a full blue tank right there. We both have we have both VMs running at the same time, so on first uh, glance you can see that at, at a distance it would look very very convincing, the fake Windows 7 to the real Windows 7, and uh, you can see over there that the clock font is a bit different. But to be honest, I doubt anyone would actually really notice that if you open the start menu on both, uh, which is not working for some reason. And you can see that the the run button is here, which is not on the stock version of Windows 7. But other than that, um, everything else is basically the same. Well, not the, or not the order of the, um, of the quick shortcuts after starting up a fresh installation in Windows 7 versus Windows 10 to 7. Yeah, I don't really notice anything different here. Also, favorites is here and recent items instead of games, most likely because the games aren't even there on the Windows 10. So yeah, as you can see, there's also the getting started, which is not on the Windows, uh, not on Windows 7, but it is on Windows 10 to 7 and the administrative tools which is what it's called on Windows 10. So I'm just gonna go through and compare at least what I can to each other. So um, one of them is snipping tool. So I'm gonna compare the snipping tools from Win 10 to 7 to Windows 7. Let's just find the snipping tools over here. And sorry if it really starts to lag here but uh, yeah both the machine is basically overloaded. 
So yeah, as you can see, they basically look identical, although this one doesn't start off straight away. It is basically identical to the Windows 7 one. So uh, that's pretty awesome that they managed to get that one-to-one -one with Windows 7. And yeah, you can see artifacting there, some of the side effects I have to get used to from this computer. And other than that, the task manager is also a bit different. In fact, I feel like the whole UI feels like a bit over 100% compared to Windows 7, like 100% scaling. But to be honest, that's okay because this is a really good clone, like I said. And even the task managers are basically identical to each other other than the fact that this has show process from all usage and all users at, at, by default. It also uses around the same memory. Right now, I only I have the same exact things running on both computers. As you can see, I have VMware uh, tools on both computers, and uh, this one is using 33%. They're both using around 34% memory, if we check the performance tab here. Uh, so, yeah, but this one also shows the two cores like this by default, whereas this one just shows one core, and it's using a lot less system resources on Windows 7, so at least for CPU. So yeah, they look really similar to each other. I might do an in-depth comparison in future, but uh, yeah, that's basically it for this video. I'm going to turn off this VM just so I can stop overloading my computer. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for this video. If you did like it, uh, consider comment, liking, and subscribing. And if you didn't like it, then don't comment, don't like, and don't subscribe. I'm really sorry for about, about the lag and the fact that I'm recording at 24 frames a second, which must be absolutely hurting your eyes right now but that's just because i'm on my spare computer so yeah if you so uh, i'll see you all next time